May the heaven rest you win. Praise the power that has made and preserved us a nation. Praise God. It was your almighty power that swept over this land 245 years ago today. As the founders of this country gathered in your name to light the torch of freedom that has burned for generations since. Today we humbly acknowledge that you alone are the source of the blessing, the freedom, the liberty, and independence that we enjoy as a free people living in a free land. As we gather here today in this community, we ask that you would grant that all people of this land may have courage to maintain our liberties in righteousness and peace. Help us always remember your generosity and help us to always do your will. Continue to bless our land with honesty in the workplace, truth in education, and honor in daily life. God of grace, today as we celebrate the liberties and freedom that we enjoy as a country, we do not presume your grace. Our country is at yet another crossroads in its history, and it, as it has been divided by hatred and torn apart by racial, political, gender, and socioeconomic divisions that threaten to diminish the very liberty that we celebrate today. The founders of this country were grounded in the absolute necessity of a faith that trusts and believes in your guidance and wisdom. Yet the anxieties that have taken over our present day have turned our eyes away from you. Instead of living each day trusting in your power and wisdom that ultimately leads to a future filled with your promises, our present day life is consumed with lines in the sand that only serve to divide us in our own land. Conversation between people with different viewpoints has been suppressed out of fear of retribution and retaliation. By the power of your Holy Spirit, turn our hearts away from divisions that keep us from seeing the fullness of your grace. Open our hearts to experience the promises that you have given to us through Christ so that we can once again see a future that is shaped in your love and grace. Help us to seek your truth as we strive for justice and righteousness, so that our land may once again be filled with your glory. Grant the elected leaders of our country and the entire world the assurance of your abiding presence. Give them the courage to lead not by fear, but with the spirit of your love for those that they are called to serve, so that all people on earth will have abundant life. Grant to each of us the eagerness to do justice and the strength to maintain self-control, so that we may use our liberty in accordance with your gracious will. Guide us to be better stewards of your gifts so that we may promote peace among ourselves and be a blessing to other nations of the earth. Then conquer we must when our cause it is just. And this be our motto, in God is our trust. And the star-spangled banner in triumph shall wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Ned Bollock. At this time, we will honor our flag of the United States of America with our Pledge of Allegiance. Our flag represents much more than a piece of cloth shaped in a colorful design. It has served as the inspiration for Americans throughout our nation's history. We fly the flag at peacetime and at wartime. 
through strife and prosperity, through hardships, through victories, in good times and in bad times. Our flag is always with us. It waves over all of us, young and old, rich and poor. It is our common destiny. It is in this spirit that we pledge allegiance this morning. Leading our pledge will be Mr. Charlie Ripper of LaGrange. Charlie Ripper had the unique distinction of witnessing the actual signing of the treaty ending World War II. You might say he had a bird's eye view marking the official end of World War II. He was stationed on the USS Colorado. He was in the crow's nest, serving on lookout duty at Tokyo Bay when the agreement was signed. Here to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, Mr. Charlie Ripper.